Welcome to UKSG 2024 in Glasgow. This is the speaker's guide to the poll creation. Welcome to UKSG 2024 conference app and the speaker's guide to poll creation. Firstly, thank you for speaking at this year's conference. This year we are making available a feature that some of you may find useful, namely polling. This feature allows you to set up polls that your attendees can respond to in your session. Note that you will need to create a poll in each of your sessions, even if they are repeated. Polls are only available for breakout sessions and workshop sessions. Greetings. My name is Brian Lewis and I'm Digital Communications Associate at UKSG. At the conference, you will find me in a bright blue vest with Here to Help written on the back. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me as here. Poll creation, and this is how it works. Sometime prior to the conference, you will receive an email along the following lines. When you are ready, click on the link in the email. This will take you to the Hoover site for UKSG 2024 and display your details. You will find that most of your details have been pre-configured from the information you supplied, but feel f please feel free to correct any errors. You can also add up to three topics you want your audience to discuss before or after your talk. In addition, you can add up to three URL links to your publications, news or any recommended articles, as well as social media links for Twitter, now known as X, LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. Now to create the poll. The link to create your poll is at the bottom of your details page. Click on the link to start creating your poll. The following four slides show you how to create the four poll types. The first one is multiple choice, where the user can only select one option. The second is checkbox, where they can select multiple items. The third is a short answer. And the fourth is star rating. Please do not use the word cloud option. For multiple options where they can only select one item, enter your question and the options you want to be made available. Click the do not prompt option. Responses will be anonymous. For multiple choice, enter your questions and the options you want to be made available. Click the do not prompt option and responses will be anonymous. For the short answer option, type your question here. Select do not prompt. Polls will be anonymous. Set the open time to five minutes before the session starts.
star rating where the user can select up to five stars. Type your question here. Select do not prompt. Select anonymous. And select open time to five minutes before your session starts. Attendee answers. When an attendee enters a session on the app, there will be a link to the polls you have created. The next screen shows how the attendees will see and can complete the poll for different answer types. That is multiple choice where they select one, checkbox where they have multiple choice, a short answer and star rating. Attendee multiple choice checkbox. <clears throat> when they get the screen up, they click on the arrow and select their choice. With the multiple choice checkbox, the attendee will click on the arrow and select their choice or choices. When you've set up a poll requiring a short answer, the question comes up and they type in their answer. With the star rating option, they click on the arrow and drag the cursor to the appropriate position. Viewing poll results. As a speaker, you will be able to enter the session on the app and on each of the poll options, you will have a link to let you view the results. You can also share or download as you wish. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.